Um, so hello, it's the weekly Sumo Platform meeting. Um, let's talk about a couple of things. On the Etherpad, you'll see down there, there was, a, there was an item. It says Google Analytics graphs. Roland's going to do an example and document it for others. But I assume we were all away on a work week and, and that hasn't happened. But uh, yeah. what do you want to say about that, Roland? I still want to do that because although we have the super duper dashboards, um, it would be, and we'll continue to get more dashboards, it would be great to have a fully worked example so that if we, if we can use this Google Analytics thing on support.mozilla.org as a sort of a pseudo prototyping thing or, or even just a one off thing to see what's happening in the site, some special ad hoc reporting. So, yes, I will still do it. I just don't have an ETA. Okay. I'm writing that down. Rosanna! Hello, everyone! Rosanna. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Um, so we're, we are going over some of the things on the, um, on the etherpad that, that didn't have to involve Kadir while he's, uh, on his way over here. Um, one thing, uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, hopefully this gets, uh, formalized and we use it all the time, but there is a, I think this is a prototype of a new release tracking yeah. page. There's a link there. And, um, you know, I had it open yesterday and I, I, um, I'd have to go back and dig through my email, but I know there's also a similar page for Firefox OS, but unlike the, the old release tracking pages that look, that used to have to be updated manually, these look like they just automatically pull in bugs or queries, um, which is kind of cool. So hopefully we will start using these. This could be really helpful for just keeping on top of what in the world is happening in each release. And yeah. Um, yeah. So that's an FYI um, there. I should add that to the like um, research documentation too. Um, Technical writing program. I mean, we should say um, a little bit about that. Um, so last week at our um, Sumo staff work week, one uh, thing that we talked about was um, really investing um, our time um, in community, especially around uh, localization. Um, um, and less time on the technical writing program. So um, Rosanna and I were talking about ways to, um, you know, not get rid of everything that we already built, um, but um, not have to spend uh, as much time uh, on it. And so I, I think we came up with a maybe a way to make it sort of like a self-service uh, program. So instead of service writing, like, what, what's that? Uh, sorry, Roland, what did you say? I like it. Keep going. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, um, so basically, um, you know, we have all the documentation, we have all the stuff. And so instead of lots of very specific one-on-one, -on -one, uh, feedback, um, we'll just, you know, um, we still have to develop this, but you know, a list of you participate in research, you edit some articles, you do another cycle, um, you complete X number of, you know, approved edits or updates or whatever. And then, um, and the feedback you get is the feedback anybody would get participating in knowledge base threads or, um, in, uh, writing and updating articles. Um, and then, and then you, you know, come to Rosanna, uh, and say, Hey, look, I, I, um, fulfilled all of the requirements 
for this, you know? Right. Can I get the certificate or the badge or the whatever? Um, so it's a right. kind of no and, and the thing less is, maintenance. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, so we wouldn't have to follow up and give, you know, give the one-on-one -on -one, uh, feedback. But we can have the, uh, you know, you can say you, you can learn all of these things at the technical writing program. Uh, what we do is, you know, we have our release cycles and then we post things in this forum. So, you know, Roland, you could post things for Firefox for Android, Michael for desktop, Michelle for Fire, uh, Firefox OS, right? So you can post them there and people can just help with the research or, you know, updating the articles. And then we say, you know, for two releases, you know, you have to contribute this minimal amount of things. And then at the end, you can just ping me and, um, and we'll get your certificate, right? Ping you. So we'll retitle it to self-service technical writing program. You'll just rejig the documents from the existing technical writing program. And people will send you an email with the links proving they've done it. Yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're on your profile. So when, when you're ready, it's for me, I just have to go to the profile, and then you look at the, at the contributions. And, you know, I think it's fair enough. I wouldn't like to change the title because Google loves it and sends us people. Ah. So. <laughs> Okay, so is this what we do with the existing people who've applied? We just start the um, informal, sorry, the self-service one with them. Yeah, and then and then maybe what we can create is on the KB forum, we can create a, a new forum thread where it says like, hi, I'm new, and then we, we put a link there so that people just click there and say like, hi, I'm new, I want to help you, right? So that, you know, we kind of know who's coming in, and it's a decentralized way of knowing it. Yeah. And like Sounds the... Good. And like the documentation says, I mean, we're available to answer questions, talk to people. I mean, you know, it's not like you're completely on your own. You're always free to ping me. I will make up stuff about desktop and actually answer questions about Android. No, just kidding. I won't make up stuff about desktop. Uh, so I think this will work, and I think we should try it with the people who have applied. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, so that's the whole point, that we keep on attracting people and, you know, we don't change anything in the way our community works. So, I mean, Roland, if you are interested in, you know, like giving a little bit more of f feedback or whatever, you know, it's up to you, right? You can, you can do that if you want, but, you know, we're going to try to focus on different things. Okay, sounds good. I, I think, uh, yeah, we just got to publicize the exact mechanics and uh, which is not that difficult. This is the revision of the existing docs, right? Yep. And then we're good to go. Yeah. Um, and also the buddies can help, right? The buddies can help. Um, sure, sure, sure. I mean, we're going to include, I think that we can include all the information about, all the information about, you know, getting involved that, you know, you can say like, you know, you can introduce yourself at the KB uh, forum or you can, you know, fill the form here and get a buddy, right? All right. Anything else on this? So my video is so delayed, like Roland is still talking and, and Roseanne is still talking on my video. So, <laughs> so goofy. Okay. Uh, the next bunch of things are at the, at the top of the list. Uh, and these were follow-ups, uh, mostly for Kadir. But um, Kadir, do you want to say anything about these? I think this is another case of we were all in Paris last week, and I, I don't know how much uh, there is yeah, to say about no, these actually, things. Yeah, no, actually, right, uh, so because of the work week, I didn't actually get to any of these. Um, so I, I would say we should uh, get to them again in the next one, uh, in the next uh, platform meeting. Okay. For me, it was mostly catching up now, the yeah. last two days, that's all. Okay. So, what is down here at the bottom? Persona almost done? Any, you guys, yeah, so anybody want to talk about this? Yeah, this is from me. Uh, we didn't have a Monday meeting this week, but I wanted to keep every, everybody up to date, and I'm also going to send out an email about this. Um, but we have two big goals uh, in the, uh, for the platform for this quarter, one of them being uh, uh, Sumo um, badges and the other one being uh, the persona integration. Uh, so you can see the status of the persona integration uh, in the link that I provided. Um, so this is something new that I'm trying out for workflows. 
it's called huge pick you can zoom in or zoom out and see the whole uh, workflow for the traditional one that we currently have and the one for the uh, for persona uh, that's not the final one though uh, you can already see there are some marks on there so we are going to work on that to make it uh, to streamline it um, uh, to improve the user experience before we actually put that into production but it's there. So on staging, if you want to log in with Persona, you can already do that uh, for the normal registration uh, as a contributor, but also uh, for the ask a question process. So it's um, it's working pretty pretty good already. Um, and once we have uh, the few uh, UX issues that are still in there uh, solved, we're going to reach out to the community to test this on staging. One of the downsides is that there is no easy way to um, um, put this behind the flag uh, on production because if you want to log in, you are by definition anonymous to us. Um, so we can't give you a special flag. Uh, we can't say all administrators or all people in this group get to see Persona because you won't be logged in. Right. Um, so that's why we need to test this on staging. Uh, but it's, yeah, so this is status update. It's, it's uh, coming along. We are on track. And this is where we are currently. With the other one, it's the uh, badges effort. Uh, oh, so we already can award badges. I have, I have a question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, before we move away from the persona okay. thing. Before we move on. What's that, sure. Ricky? Let, let's talk about that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We can talk about them individually, yes. I mean, so looking at this big, the big picture thing, so there's, there's more steps for Persona, and there's two highlighted in blue. Maybe those are things that, I don't know what, they need work or something, but what's the deal yeah, about yeah. it being more, more steps? Are we going to just lose more people? Well, um, so uh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, written that down as, as steps. As th those are screens, essentially. There okay. are uh, they are more screens, not necessarily more steps. Um, and that's bad wording from my side. Okay. Um, uh, also, there are more workflows actually that I don't have in that picture specifically because uh, the UX of them are different. Um, so, if you are a Gmail user, for example, and one third of the people who sign up with us are Gmail users then you don't go to your uh, email account. You don't have to open your email uh, um, program. You don't have to click on a validation uh, link. Uh, but instead, you go to Gmail. Uh, you get, sorry, uh, you get the pop-up, and then you uh, give your details in the Google login form. And if you do that, you, don't, you come back. So once you do that, you come back to us, and you are logged in and uh, can move forward. Um, but that, so that's one, one side. If you are logged in already to Gmail, then all you need to do is uh, give us your email address. And then we will just log you in automatically and uh, uh, give, uh, put you on the form. But there is no work needed for those parts. Uh, so the, the work that, that we need is for, for this workflow where you actually are not using Gmail. Um, and that's for two thirds of our users. So that's why it's uh, on here. Um, and yes, uh, it is more screens. It is not uh, more steps except for one, and that's the blue, the first blue rectangle that we're trying to eliminate. Uh, so if we eliminate that, then we should be uh, just as good as with uh, the traditional login. Um, yeah, but of course it's uh, it's different. Uh, it's, it's you can already see that from the screens that are displayed there. They're in a different order. So instead of uh, signing up, uh, uh, sorry, um, instead of, uh, what is it called, uh, the, the email uh, validation, instead of that happening in the last step, it's happening before people ask the question. Um, so we can do the other one with Persona. So it's totally possible to uh, do, the, do our, our traditional ask a question flow with Persona. But it's unclear whether our current one is better or not. So we need to instrument that. And that's what we that's what I'm going to do when when this lands we can compare this to our old for, uh, workflow and then we can also uh, use uh, the old workflow just with persona um, to imitate 
essentially what we had before. Yeah, but that's that's up for uh, experimentation. Essentially, we don't know whether our workflow is better or the traditional workflow is better. And this is the um, yeah sign up before you can ask a question thing. I we will figure totally it, we will lost. try it out. You totally lost me there. Sorry, uh, I, I actually I, I think I mixed several things in in one answer. So what was the question? So I mean, I, you just uh, mentioned that we have different steps, uh, more one, more more steps for one than for the other, right? Yeah, I mean, my my basic concern about and this is maybe this is me personally, but my basic concern about the persona thing is that it introduces questions like, "What in the world is persona?" I'm just trying to ask a question on the help site. Um, is it more steps? Um, and and we're going to make it. Instead of easier to ask a question, we're going to end up making it harder to ask a question. And I'm wondering, um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out because my first impression from looking at this picture was I'm like, well, Lord, it's it's like way more steps. But you explain that it's not necessarily steps. Those are screens different than steps. I can get that. Um, but now I'm trying to understand, did you say stuff about being able to test this or how we can, you know, learn if this is going to be better than what yes. we currently have and are we yeah, willing so that, and we're willing to back this out if it's not better so uh that's that's what i was trying to get to with, with the last part of my answer unfortunately i mixed it all up um so what i'm doing this week is i'm instrumenting this uh whole workflow so that we have a before and we know what our uh rate is we did that before already um right. but i would like to do it now again to to have current numbers and then we are going to switch to Persona, and we will have new numbers from Persona. Um, so we can compare those two different uh, uh, workflows uh, against each other. What we can do then is, if the numbers are not what we are expecting them to be, if they are not actually, if people are not as successful in the uh, in the new way with Persona as they were in the old way with us, uh, with, with the traditional um, authentication method, then the first thing that we can do is we can move. Uh, um, we can use Persona still, but use our uh, workflow for our current workflow for um, asking a question. It sounds a bit confusing, maybe, but the difference is that in one in one option, you register and you validate your email address before you get to ask a question or to type in the questions, so to say. In our model, what we have. Today, you get to um, ask your question, given the details, and then get to validate your email address. That's the difference uh, between those two approaches today. If you look at the workflow there, you will see it. In one model, you have to read your email first and then give us the details. In the other model, in our current model, you have to give us the details first and then you get to uh, validate your email. Both of them, I think, have their up and downs, uh, downsides. But after the experiment, we can tell um, uh, whether um, the Persona one is working uh, good or not. And the first thing that we can do is we can still use Persona, but use our traditional method where we um, uh, let people validate their email address at the end and if see if that changes things. If that doesn't change things, then we need to um, figure out what exactly it is that persona is doing so differently that people um, can't complete it. Because essentially, if, if you take that out, it is very similar to what we have today. You are also asking for an email address, a password, and a username. It's just that it is um, scattered over more screens. Yeah. yeah. There's a concern from Michael about people needing to use persona. I think that. That only comes because of the email that we're sending them. Is there any possibility to change the branding of that? You mean the ch branding of the email? So mm -hmm. I think, for instance, the email on the step before before the one that is highlighted, it says Mozilla Persona. I'm wondering if we could customize that the same way that now they allow you to customize the pop-up window. Right. So you know, oh, that like, is a very good question. If, if I don't we, know. Uh, if we let were, me ask that. Sorry. If we were like any other kind of site, in, uh, 
you know, employing some third party login like Twitter or, or Facebook, right? People that have those things know what they are. Oh yes, I can log in with my Facebook identity. Oh, oh yes, I can log in with my Twitter thing or my Gmail. Um, if we say log in with your persona, people are. I am. My concern is people are like, what? I don't even have any idea. Well, what the we don't do that about. though. So we don't ask them to. Um, or l let me look that, look this up again. So what we um, what we tell what we ask them is sign in with email um, so we don't tell them about persona uh, so that what they need to give us is this and once they give us their email address we do different things with it depending on what kind of email it is so if you are a Gmail user for example or a Yahoo user that also works what we do is um, we sign you in right away if you are already signed in into your Gmail or your Yahoo account so you don't even realize um, that, that you are uh, using persona because you don't need to. Um, and if you are using a tradition, another email provider, you get an email to validate your email address. That's sure. also not different from um, I understand. a traditional. So I get that. Not, and so again, not to derail this or to argue, but for me, if you said, okay, we just need you to sign into the support site, like it says on here, I'd be like, but I don't even have an account on the support site. How can I sign in? I'll be looking for a oh. register. So is there a way well, that we can, like, can we, or should we, maybe I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but should we be, like, usability testing this on Alizom or yes. something with people before we, with not our contributors, with real people who are, need help, who've never been to Sumo so, before? Uh, yes, actually, A-B testing was done on this. You mean uh, whether it should say sign in or sign up? I don't, yeah, all of those yes. kinds of things. Yeah, A-B testing was, uh, was done around this. Actually, I think the presentation of that, uh, maybe it happened last week or it's going to happen this week, but uh, I was going to look up uh, the results of those. Uh, but yes, A-B testing was done on, on this. Unfortunately, we can't do A-B testing before this lands. Because we would have to send people to Alizam, um, and, and that's that's not our uh, production side. Uh, we don't have the content of the production side there. Right. No, I'm not talking about kinds of A/B testing. I'm talking about like recruiting users and asking them to ask a question and see. You know what I mean? Usability testing kind of thing. Oh yes. Uh, great idea. Uh, so fortunately, other people have done A/B testing already. So we don't need to do that. We just need to look at the results. And we can customize that part. It's just a button. Uh, we can make it say whatever we want. Um, so, so far, they have been using signing in uh, with Persona. But yes, the A-B testing was about looking up whether signing up with Persona would be um, more helpful. Uh, so you know, they have uh, a bunch of UX designers, actually. Crystal is working on this primarily. Um, but also a number of other, I think they have three or four UX designers just working on Persona. Um, so they're really testing the shit out of this. Okay. Uh, so we don't have to. But we can ask them all kinds of stuff. So what I mean is we don't necessarily need to do that on our end. If we have questions about this, we can work together with them to make that happen. And yes, uh, me telling you this is also just a signal like if you have questions, let me know, and we can work together to get them answered. OK. Does anybody else have questions, or just me, as I'm done with questions? I agree with you, but we should customize it to make it clear if we can. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to ask about that. I, think that I bet that in the long run, that's their vision. It's just they haven't landed there. And maybe we yeah, can contribute I, to that. It is confusing, you know? but I think it is a win for Gmail users and people like that. But yep, yeah, you should so, ask questions directly to Crystal at all. I totally agree, Michael, Levi, and Jerry. Yeah, so that, that's one important thing to keep in mind for one third of our users. This will be this will be a huge improvement because um, they will be able to log in to Sumo without going through all of these steps of validating their email address and whatever. So it will be a huge improvement for them, and that that's a good chunk. Like that's one third, at least one third of our users, um, plus the others that also support this bridging thing now. 
Um, yep, that's that. Indeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, if, if you have more questions about this, I mean, you can contact me at any time. Um, send me an email, or we can talk about this. Uh, and I'll make sure that, that I answer or get, 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 an, get an answer for all of the questions that we have before this gets into production. And like I yeah. said, we will test this on uh, uh, Alizam. I'll send out the message to our contributors or to our testing group before we launch this on our production side uh, once we have the UX of this streamlined, which should happen soon. Oh, so you want to wait for the UX before we do the testing? Yes. Okay. So I was going to propose we do a test day with contributors, but I guess uh, we can wait then for that. And maybe Rebecca will be back so she can run it because she's on PTO for a while. All right. Yeah, I mean, it should happen in the next week or, or two. We should, be, we should be completely done with this and be able to test before we roll it out. There are all kinds of edge cases that we, we need to make sure that we don't run into them or um, that they don't catch us by surprise. You don't want to create uh, tw accounts twice and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. But I'm very hopeful about this. I think we're really on track on this. And um, this So can we get an action item for Kadir to ask these questions to Crystal then? A customization question? I don't know. What were the other questions? All right. Uh, then the next one. The next one is uh, badges. Uh, so in the badges effort, uh, I can tell you where we are already. We can already uh, award uh, um, uh, manual badges. Uh, so we can mm -hmm. already say that somebody got a badge from Sumo. So we can issue badges, which is the first step. We needed to get the infrastructure for that uh, in place. And that's done. That's very cool. Unfortunately, you can't see any badges uh, yet. Uh, so the presentation part isn't done yet. And that's no, what we are going to focus in this sprint. Uh, we will have the presentation of badges on the profile and on the individual badge pages. But we will also uh, uh, use the sprint to work on the automation of uh, badges. So uh, you will get badges uh, when you do a certain number of, uh, when you have a certain number of solutions per year. And we will also award them retroactively. So that's pretty cool. And it's actually, we're trying to get the uh, presentation of them done in the sprint. And we will uh, get part of the automation done already in this sprint, too. Um, so this is, this is happening now. <laughs> Exciting. Thank you. Awesome sumo there. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great team. Did you see the badge I created? It's in the Sumo channel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we will have to have some sort of vetting by me so we don't allow pictures of models to be used as badges. <laughs> it's very, uh, yeah, that, that will be a very rare uh, badge, Ricky. Only for the highest achievement. <laughs> Only Ralph and Matt get it so far. <laughs> yeah, three Veilid Amigos. All righty. Uh, that's everything that's on this list. Is there anything else that people uh, want to talk about? Going once, going twice. My video is so delayed, it's like five minutes behind. I don't know what's Are you happening. recording using ScreenFlow or using a video? Using ScreenFlow. Okay, weird. So. All right. Well, then let's uh, call this a meeting. Ciao, cheers. Thanks, everybody. A la prochaine. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.